Years ago, I bought this house with the intention of renovating it. At the time, I was dating my girlfriend, Lisa Marie, who's now my wife, and we intended to put a second story addition on it and make it this beautiful home. This house essentially was gutted completely. Back in the day, there was some aluminum wiring, but we had our electrician take it all out. I always tell people, if you're going to do anything to your home, don't ever touch electrical. Hire an electrician. Make sure they are a licensed electrical contractor with an ESA number that you can check and make sure they are legit, because after all, this is you and your family's safety you're worrying about. When renovating, we treat any home that we're working on like our own. And it just so happens that we sold this one to my sister, so it makes me so happy knowing that she lives in a safe, healthy home that her and her family can grow old in. Very important during a renovation. Work together with your partner. Me and my wife, we chose the finishes. And by that, I mean my wife chose the finishes. We still thought, okay, if we ever do sell this home, we have to think about resale. So we went with something more neutral. It was a joint idea to go with a different color on the island than the cabinets. We wanted a little bit of contrast. We wanted to spice it up just a little bit while playing it safe and keeping neutral colors. With the island, because it's fixed, this is a heavy island, it's not moving anywhere. We have to have a dedicated line in the island so that we can plug stuff in, so that for any reason, if we need power where the island is, we have it. Kitchens is an important area because you have water and you have electrical, so it has to be done right. Everything has to be GFCI protected that's around the sink within 1.5 meters. The good thing about working with a licensed electrical contractor is you have peace of mind and they will also know everything about electrical code. So they know where the outlet should go. They know when they should be GFCI protected. So you don't have to worry about that because you're in good hands. When you're renovating, you really need to think start to finish. You need to have a plan all the way through. That's electrical, mechanical, that is furniture placement. You have to have a plan. When designing the layout for our living room, we made sure that we put receptacles everywhere because after all, there's so many electronics nowadays and I love electronics, so you have to have a plug everywhere you'll need it. On a long wall in your home, you need to have a plug no more than 12 feet apart. When renovating this home, we knew we wanted to incorporate pot lights for general lighting, but the task lighting is very important, which is why we planned ahead and we knew we wanted wall sconces in the living room. Having the pendant lighting over the dining room table and the island giving it a nice vibe while also giving that designated space lighting. Because we did a complete overhaul of this home, we were able to tuck in a powder room right at the front door. One thing we incorporated in our bathrooms, because nobody likes cold feet, is in-floor heating. And we always make sure that our in-floor heating is on a dedicated line of the panel. One of the things my wife and I really care about is renewable energy and helping the environment. So our goal was to have a net zero home to produce as much energy as we consume in the home. So that's why we installed solar panels on the roof. This house is very different from any house on this block. It has a different garage door. We have a metal roof. We have solar panels. It sticks out in a good way. Before we sold the house to my sister, we knew that she was expecting a baby. So we installed tamper resistant receptacles in the nursery so that her and her baby could be safe. When we're looking at potential jobs or homes for the show, we always look at electrical. Do it right the first time. Build your home from the outside in and get an electrical safety authority inspector to give you a certificate of inspection. Make sure your job gets passed.